Alright, next I'm going to mix up some epoxy. Now you can see I did squeeze out two rows here. They're starting to already blend together. Um, but I mixed up a relatively healthy amount for this next step. Um, for the next step, we're going to need to get a few parts together. Okay, I'm going to stir this up here first. Um, the, we're going to need the part that we, the backboard that we glued the dowels into. We're going to need that. That's this. Okay. We're also going to need these three black servo holders here. And then we're going to need the three servos. Um, nothing else um, as far as hardware for the servos, just those. So we'll get our epoxy mixed up really good. All right. And then uh, what we'll do next is we're going to grab our servo and one of these and we want to fit them in now some of these may push a little bit hard but if you if you push from the back and just kind of grab like i am here and push you should be able to get it in there uh, so work at it but what you'll have when you're done is um you'll see the servo here that in the gap that you see it should be about equal on this side as it is on this side so that's kind of your goal you want to make it pushed in yet pretty close to the same, okay? And you do that for all three. I've tried to clean these out before I gave them to you all, but you know, make sure that the inside here doesn't have anything that might prevent it from being pushed in. Okay. okay, got all three of those in. Okay, next thing we're gonna do then, we're gonna flip this over And I'm gonna adjust the camera. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're gonna be sticking them into these holes. Except, okay, so you're gonna have one that goes there, one that's gonna go here, and one that's gonna go here. And I just wanna put a touch of epoxy on it first, okay? And I'm just gonna put it right here. And that's it. Uh, well, I suppose I could do just just on this surface and right there, and we'll call that good. Okay. Now, when you fit them in, we'll do this one here first. You want the servo to run like this. Okay. So get it in there and twist it to that position. There. Just make sure that it's pushed down onto the board like it is here okay. and then I have it twisted into position like that okay. all right if you get any epoxy on yourself again you can wash that off with soap and water um, I just got to do something real quick I can see a little epoxy that's oozing out the side just let it that's okay there my keyboard okay I'm gonna do that for the next ones and again, this one, I'm just going to put it in so that it, we'll put it in so it's like that. And then this one I'm going to do, I think I'll just put this one in like this, so it's sideways like that. Okay. If the servo pops out of the black part, don't worry about it. You can just pop it right back in. A little here. really don't need a lot of epoxy okay. main thing make sure that the black piece is pushed down and flush with the board your servos that'll still be able to get popped in and out but uh, leave it for now okay so you got that one and the last one to do that and then you're going to have some leftover epoxy so we're going to use that up um, these wires keep them out of the way if you just kind of bend them off in the direction that you want them to go we're going to make them go off like that um, what i want to do with the epoxy now so i'm just going to go around and add a little onto 
the ramps that we had glued in and onto the dowels that we had put in. And I'm just putting a little over the top of it. Not even worrying so much about being neat because you're not going to see any of this stuff anyway. And you can always mix up a little more epoxy if you find that you end up needing it. But you don't have to go heavy on this stuff. Okay. And after you get them all covered, then you're just going to let it sit for uh, overnight. Now, one note here in this area, try not to get it too close to this hole here because it might, I can't remember, but I think something maybe may be coming through there that might be close to getting in the way. So, all right, I'm not going to keep you any longer. So, just finish covering up all the little pegs that are coming through and all the ramps that are coming through. If you want to stick with me and finish watching, you go right ahead. Otherwise, if you want to stop the video, that's fine too. But if you want to see what it looks like to the very end, I don't even have anything more to say. You're still with me? That's amazing. I bet you're waiting for a joke. But I don't know jokes. Okay. One here. That's it.